the first hip hop game for the Switch? For the culture? Come on, you know I had to check that out. I may not look much like a dancer. I got the meanest up rock in the South. Place your bet, you're gonna lose your money. Holla at your boy. What's good folks, it's your boy Dookie back again with Bang. Budget and new gear reviews that be get the best Bang for your tech dollars. I hope 2018 is going great for you. I don't usually do this, but I'm actually gonna check out a video game for the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you saw any of my video game related content, I said last year that the Switch was my favorite console between Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8, golf store which was my favorite i already said that put a stamp on it certified but it's one thing that you know the switch was missing something for the culture man something that you know just didn't really have too much of that shout out to the homie rudy dope mc crazy mc he actually posted about this game then another homie tosin the dot com dom was like yo Maybe Duke, you need to check this out. Floor Kids. It's a hip hop rhythm based game for the Nintendo Switch. I was like, okay, I'll check it out, see what's good with it. Now, a little bit about the game. It was developed by Kid Koala. Now, if you don't know who Kid Koala is, he's one half of the legendary Deltron 3030. And so Kid Koala actually developed the characters in this game. He would actually incorporate them into his live shows. And so the fact that he was able to take all of that put it into the game. It's actually pretty cool. I actually think that's pretty cool to think, to see something like that, man. I'm always, you know, as a true fan of hip hop, man, I'm always inspired to see what we could bring to the table. This was the first one for the Switch, so I had to pick it up and see if it was good. And it's a pretty interesting game. Now, first of all, you start off with one character who actually is my favorite character, the little homie Olive. I thought it was Olive at first, but they got the, the thing there, so it was Olive. It's a rhythm-based game where you perform in front of a crowd. You basically have to match the beats with the moves that you perform. Up rock is when you're standing up, you know, down rock is when you're on the ground working the ground. You got all types of moves, you got combinations, you got spins, power moves, all types of different stuff. If you ever been at a concert and seen that circle break out and guys start break dancing, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, uh, shout out to my good homie Mamba. He's a, he's a great dancer. He used to just be on some break dance stuff, but you know, now he's on next level. The whole time I was playing this game it made me think of them like you know seeing them in the circle you know just freestyling and working it out and throwing moves in there and all types of stuff and this actually kind of brought me back to that I was like okay that's, that's pretty good <laughs> now the scoring is based off of five categories funk flavor flow fire and flyness now funk is just you keeping the beat. Funk is like you stand on rhythm. So, you know, you just tap into the rhythm. And every time you hit a move, you hit it on beat. And the better it is, the better your score. You might get 40 points, 20 points, even 10 points. Flavor is just being creative, switching it up, using different moves, not just getting caught in a rut, not just, you know, running to the same. The more you run the same move, the less points you get. Flow is basically like using combos. So if you use an up rock that goes into the right down rock, then you do a power move, stuff like that, you get different combos and it actually tells you what you can do it's like if you're in one move it says hey this is what the next move is if you hit that and then hit that then here's the next move for the combo that really helps you learn the moves and learn how to pull them off in a certain way now fire that's how you respond to crowd requests you'll be rocking and you'll see an icon come up on your left that'll say something like power move pause something like that if you hit it during the time it gives you a little timer if you hit it while that's up you get a bonus and the more you hit the better your fire is at the end of the match and then flyness flyness is just being extra creative flyness is like doing the next level type moves so you can if you've mastered all the basic stuff but then throw in some power moves there's extra spin moves and pauses and all types of extra stuff that you can do. If you can master those and throw them in, then you get extra points for your flyness. Now, each round is basically like two matches. You rock for a certain amount of time and then at the end you hit a breakdown. And the breakdown is basically where you stop, you know, hitting moves and you just try to hit on beat. It really tests your timing and rhythm. This is that's that's more of the basic rhythm-based 
portion of this game. Like it would be similar to like Guitar Hero or other games where you really had to hit it on beat. And the better you do there, the better your score is. And then you go back into another round of just performing for the crowd. Then you do a breakdown again, same thing. So basically you do the same thing twice. Now here's why I would have liked for it to maybe switch up on the breakdowns. Maybe do it a certain way on the first breakdown, do a certain way on the second, but it does, it, it's basically the same thing. So if you didn't get it on the first one, you know, basically pay attention, you should be able to get it on that second one if you have some rhythm. Now you have a bunch of different characters and how you progress through the game is each stage has three levels on it. On each level, you try to get a crown. You try to get five crowns. Five crowns means you killed it. The more crowns you get per stage, it goes to getting cards. Cards are how you get the players. Each player is broken into four cards. You try to get the most points you can to try to get the best score to get the most crowns. Getting the crowns unlocks stages and players, and each player has their own different styles and different moves. You really gotta learn how to freak it to get the best scores and to get the best you know, overall score and keep progressing. So at the end of the day, it all comes down to fun. Is this game fun to play? And I actually gotta say, it's pretty fun. You definitely need to play it in a scenario where you can listen loud <laughs> so you can stay on point. You know, you'll notice your head starting to nod to the beat. You know, the more you start to feel it, the more it's like, okay, let's go. You, you, you're like, okay, I'm not mad at this. I like the music. You can tell it's all based off of old break beats. <laughs> If you know anything about beat making or hip hop beats, you know that you'll recognize a lot of the sounds and styles easily. It really gives you this really immersive hip hop experience. You know, I would love to share this game with like a young generation, you know, give them that idea of what, you know, that old school cypher, B-boys going off, you know, MCs over there rhyming, the DJ doing the graffiti on the wall. It really does give you that feel of environment in a video game for $20. I say, man, if you're into rhythm games, you might want to check it out. If you like hip hop, it might be a fun pickup, you know, something easy for you to play. Now, if you don't have a Switch, I wouldn't say picking up a Switch specifically for this game. But if you're looking to get a Switch and you want to try some of those other games, this is definitely something you should be able to pick up and enjoy, have some fun. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Is it something that you're looking to pick up on the Switch? Did you pick it up? Did you like it? You let me know. I'ma get up out of here. It's your Ken Folk Dookie. Make sure you holler at your boy.